You're in the middle of nowhere and you're completely lost. How would you figure out where you are? You might use the GPS in your phone or a sat-nav in your car. Now imagine you're an 18th century explorer out in the middle of the ocean with no landmarks in sight. How could you possibly hope to figure out where you are then? Well, if you were a relatively wealthy and well-trained navigator, you might have owned one of these. This, believe it or not, is an early form of GPS. It's called an octant because its shape forms an eighth of a circle, and it was used to calculate one's latitude when at sea. It could do this to within an accuracy of one mile, which, while not as accurate as modern GPS devices, which can pinpoint your location to within 20 meters, it's pretty impressive for a simple device made from a few pieces of wood and a pair of mirrors. As you move away from the equator, the sun appears to be lower in the sky and the octant would be used to measure the altitude or height of the sun over the horizon, and this information could be used to calculate latitude. At midday, when the sun is at its peak, the navigator would hold the octant so that the horizon could be seen through this window when viewed through this eyepiece. Light from the sun would then be reflected off this first mirror and onto this second mirror alongside the window so that the image of the sun could be seen alongside the horizon. In order to measure the altitude of the sun, its image had to be aligned with the horizon. This was done by moving this index arm, which controls the tilt of this first mirror. The extent to which this arm had to be moved would indicate the altitude of the sun. This information could then be combined with the precise date and time at which the measurement was taken in order to calculate latitude by consulting a series of tables in a book known as an almanac. The octant was developed simultaneously by two men around 1730, John Hadley in England and Thomas Godfrey in America. Although in 1699, Sir Isaac Newton had developed a very similar instrument based on the same principle known as a reflecting quadrant. The octant was the first in a series of navigational instruments based on this reflecting principle. These instruments were absolutely crucial for navigation and exploration in the 18th century and were responsible for literally redrawing the world.